psych to gos 5 Dating Tips for People with Social Anxiety Have you ever been at a party and found yourself making better friends with a dog or cat off in a quiet corner somewhere rather than mingling with the company of the human variety? If you are one of the many people who live with social anxiety, this may sound all too familiar. And even though our furry friends do make for wonderful companions, those of us with social anxiety may still want to find that special human someone to share a little love and affection with. Now, if the prospect of juggling romance and social anxiety makes you, well, anxious, and just thinking about it is sending your brain into overdrive with a million different thoughts and what-ifs, just take a moment and breathe. We've got you covered. Because dating can be challenging at the best of times and may seem even more daunting when it has double billing with social anxiety, Psych2Go has compiled a quick list of five tips to keep in mind as you head out in search for a dream mate. Number one, take a good long look in the mirror and ask yourself what you truly want in a partner. If the prospect of spending time with someone who thrives on being smack dab in the middle of action breaks you out into a cold sweat, People with those personality traits may not make for the best romantic pursuits. Remember, you have control over who you choose to ask out or accept dates from. Number two, you also have the power to control your surroundings. Do big crowds and loud busy bars or clubs make you long for that quiet corner with a fluffy pet? Try suggesting an activity that makes you feel a little more comfortable. And don't feel pressure to make any big explanations. It can be as simple as saying, actually, I'm not a fan of that, or I'd rather do this if that's okay. Number three, now as the old saying goes, dress for success. Just like having control over who you date and where you go, you can control how you feel heading out on your romantic adventure. Choose an outfit that makes you feel comfortable and at ease and that you love to wear. When you look good, you feel good and feeling good can often be a big help in keeping your anxiety in check. Number four, if meeting new people makes you nervous, try setting up a safety net for yourself. Ask a friend to text and check in or to hang out nearby so that they can bump into you and see how you're doing or invite your date to do something with a group of your friends. Having people you already know and trust waiting in the wings to support you when you are first getting to know someone new can be just the thing to mellow out some of those anxieties. Number five, last but certainly not least, take a big deep breath and go have some fun. Remember, dating is supposed to be an enjoyable experience, a way to get to know someone you like and want to spend time with. Remind yourself of that before you head out on your date. And if things do happen to not go as well as you'd hoped, You've got your friend's safety net standing by and you never have to see your date again if you don't want to. Living with social anxiety can sometimes feel like you're not in control, but you are. And hopefully these tips will help you as you wade out into the dating pool. What do you think? Do you have any dating tips? What works best for you? Psych2Go would love to know. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Hey everybody, I just want to give a personal thank you video for you guys for always supporting Psych2Go and making this all possible for us. Our vision is to make psychology as accessible as possible so that it promotes self-awareness and it helps you guys grow. However, we want to make more content for you guys and would love your support in buying one of these bracelets from our partner, Introvert Palace. Check out the bracelet, it's pretty cool and it even includes Pluto. The link to purchase will all be in the description below and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!